Hey y'all, Jazz Creations Art Sanity here. So I'm going to do another cup here. This is a 16 ounce Slim Hog Tumbler that I have roughed up with a sanding block, wiped down with alcohol, and then gave it a coat of this Rust-Oleum Deep Teal matte spray paint here. I have my resin mixed up. This is what I'm using. Still can't decide if I like this or not. But we're going to give it a go again. And I'm going to cover my cup with the epoxy and then I'm going to sprinkle on this glitter. This is a color shift glitter. Ooh, how pretty. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do to start with. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to hit this with my heat gun. I've noticed that it does have a lot, or what I think a lot, of like micro bubbles. I noticed that in my last cup too. I didn't like that. So we're going to try to get rid of those here, heating it up. And I did this on my last cup too. I, I used my heat gun and torch, but there's still... those micro bubbles in there and I don't like that. I even let my resin set for oh, I don't know 10-15 minutes before I started here too. This is just a piece of parchment paper that I'm using to tap down this glitter here so that hopefully I can get it flat and I won't have much sanding to do. Okay, so I think I'm satisfied here and I'm going to quit messing with it and I'm going to 
leave it to spin for a few hours and we'll be back to do the next layer. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Um, after putting the glitter on and letting it dry, I'm trying to remember where I'm at. It's been a few days. Um, but I put another layer of epoxy on top of the glitter. So now I'm going to do an acrylic pour on top of this. And I just have my cup sitting on, sitting on like a solo cup here on top of a canvas. Now I'm using some metallic cobalt blue, some turquoise green, some phthalo turquoise, and some purple flash. It's a color shift. And I've got those layered in my cup. All of those I've got mixed with two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and enough water to bring to um, consistency. Now I'll have all of this linked in the description below. So I've got those all layered in my cup here and we're just going to pour this over and see what happens. Okay, I've let this set and kind of do its thing for a few minutes, and it's not dripping as much now. Um, so I'm going to take it off and I'm going to move this canvas around. I'm, I'm hesitant. I'm not sure if I like this. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll decide in a minute. I'm not sure if I'm going to pour more on or what I'm going to do yet, but let's do this canvas and see how it comes out. Okay, here's this one. I decided to leave it alone and see what happens. We've got some stuff popping up in here, over here. So I'm gonna leave it alone and see what, what else will maybe come through. It's pretty, these colors are gorgeous. So, I have decided, so here's the one I poured on. I'm going to put my cup back on this one and add a little bit more to my cup. Okay, here we go again. I'm gonna use what's in my cup. It's so pretty. So we'll see how that works before I put any more in here.
pour it on here. I don't know, some parts of this I like and some I don't. So, you know, I'm just gonna keep going until I get something I fully like. Which is usually how I end up messing everything up. I, Cause I just don't know when to stop. But you know, whoa, that spilled it. It's gonna be what it's gonna be, right? Okay, so I've let this set for a few minutes. I hope it's not going to move too much more because I really like the pattern going on. Gosh, you can't see. Hold on. I don't know if that helps or hurts. Doesn't look like it's coming across very well in the camera. y'all so my cup is dry as you can see I lost some of that um, purple color shift but still pretty anyway so now I am going to I'm going to use some acetone and just a washcloth and I am going to start rubbing some areas along here to expose the glitter underneath to kind of give it a G.O.D. feel to it. So that's what I'm going to do now. So see, it just exposes the glitter there. So I'm going to keep doing this around the cup um, just until I think I've got enough exposed and I like it. Done. I think I'm gonna leave it like this so now I'm going to I hope it's not blurring out too much um, I'm going to get my area cleaned up here and then I'll get ready because I'm going to put um, my final layer of resin on here so we'll be back Okay, you guys, I'm putting on my last coat of epoxy. Now, before I did this, 
I wiped this down with alcohol just to clean off any any fingerprints or any of the acetone that was left over from doing these glitter spots now and I did so you can see in here that they are now outlined with black all I did was take my this is a black um, alcohol marker and I just traced around my um, glitter spots and so yeah like I said this is my last coat of epoxy I will finish putting this layer on I will leave this bin until it's dry and then here at the end I will show you I will have my cup on a um, on a rotating display so that you can see it completely done now the inside of this cup isn't too bad so I'm not gonna show you how I clean that but I do have one coming up that is really bad inside from um, a hydro dip so I will show you how I clean out the inside of the cups on that one so yeah as always thank you guys so much for watching please like share subscribe and leave me a comment and consider joining me over on my Facebook page I will have everything listed in the description below so yeah until next time bye